This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 44 of the Orchid Gunwagon tutorial. Alright. We're going to start by having a cylinder here. Okay, give it seven or six sides actually. Uh, convert to editable poly, polygon, uh, chamfer. Okay. Uh, local normal. Oops. That's what's going to local normal. Uh, then just copy it. Okay. Uh, copy it over there. Okay, select two from the bottom. Over here, rotate. Oops. I'll rotate that using the view. Just rotate it till they're straight. Or at least close to straight. down a bit. Okay, looks pretty good. Next, let's uh, get a little bigger cylinder and create it just over, well, mm, create it right here. Okay, about 1.65 units wide, convert to editable poly, polygon, select the top, edges, chamfer, okay, select this, max script, run script, placement tool, set select the source, pick distribution one, pick that one, place, and go crazy, place them everywhere. Placing right, place over here, down here, all across here. big things over here. So, cylinder, create a cylinder using auto grid. Just create it right over here. Make it kind of big. Okay, give it the uh, four sides. Actually, I'm going to give mine five sides. This four looks a bit odd. Okay, convert to editable poly, polygon, select that. Edges chamfer. Okay, polygon inset. Okay, extrude by about one. Edges chamfer. That's weird. Extrude. Okay. Edges chamfer. Okay. Max script, run script, placement tool, set select the source, pick distribution one, pick cylinder you just created, place, and just place it. Actually, that's too big. So, uh, scale it down a bit. 
reset X form, reset selected. Uh, right. Convert to uh, convert it to an editable poly. Okay, and uh, now use the placement tool. Okay, and then place it uh, just in the corners. So there. Let's get one over there. Right here. Right here. Right here. And then on this side, uh, I'm going to place in the corners. Okay. Looks decent. So close out the placement tool and delete that. Next, let's create a little wheel arch, I guess you can call it. Um which is going to be What are we going to do? Okay. Create a box right about. Actually, no. Uh, select that edge and that edge. Connect. Connect it twice. And make sure that it's about. If you press OK, make sure the vertices. In this view are almost exactly in the center of the wheel. So right there. And then scale them inwards so they reach right in between here. Okay, perspective. Uh, then you're going to want to chamfer those edges so we can get a uh, shape out of them. Okay, and I'm just pull them that way a bit more. Okay, uh, select. Actually, let's move this one even further back. There. Okay, uh, move it a bit. All right, now extrude to about. about here. Actually, cancel this. We can't do that right now. I just remembered. So just weld all those things together. And we'll come back to them later. First we have to actually connect these, so it's mm, like both those, connect, uh, connect it once, zero pinch, and leave the slide where it is, do the same for this side, connect. A polygon, select that polygon, and select it over here, and extrude. Okay, just extrude it a little bit, and then go into the left view, grab these vertices, and just line them right up with this line. So do this, just line or zoom in as close as you possibly can. Okay, do scaling, whatever you have to do. Okay, uh, that'll be it for part 44. I'll see you in part uh, 45.